Hello friends, welcome to PySpark video tutorials. In this ongoing uh, real-time scenario videos, today video I am going to cover one of the uh, real-time scenario is date related issues. So primarily when you are working with the uh, source systems like traditional systems, which is having some historical data and consider if a source system is having a uh, old data like before 2000. So when it comes to before 2000 data and your data is having a date fields, date fields, values like a DD, YML, YY. So this is one of the scenario which you can expect when you are processing historical data. Consider it is January 10th, 1985. January. 10, 1985 or you can say 1995, 1985 or you can say 1995, whatever it is, but before 2000. So whenever you are uh, working primarily on historical data process and date field, if you are getting a two, two digit YY format, not YY format. Normally, if you are getting a YYY and then consider 1985. So in this scenario, you won't get much issues. And whenever you are getting these kind of formats, so traditional systems will be will be sending this kind of format, DD, MM, YY. If they are sending YYY format, that's okay. So how to handle in this scenario? Let's see with one example. So this is one of the employee table data. You can see this employee uh, hire date, which is uh, date, month, year. Year is only two digits. Let's take this data file and uh, how to handle YY date format in PySpark for before 2000 data. So let's take example. So let's will create a file dbatils.efs.put and I'll create a file in this location, scenarios, then employee data dot CSV and data file I will create like this. And the file already is available, just overwrite. So file will be created in this location. Let's using a read API, we can create a data frame spark dot read dot csv just i'll increase the size let's create a, a header because header is available in this file so use header true you can verify this this is a header and anyway default is comma so comma is the delimiter we are using okay and then even if you want to use info schema we can use the info schema So whenever you go with the infer schema, you see these data types, except higher date remaining converted properly and uh, higher, uh, other columns which is having a null. And that, that's why even manager it is treating as string, permission it is treating as string because your nulls are there. So this null it will treat as a string data type, which we can specify on option. Don't treat as a null, sorry, don't treat as a string, treat as null value so null value specify that value treat null treat null as a null now you see mj manager id converted integer and this is also converted integer now let's look at the data just verify the data and this is a default, it will consider as a string format. And because Spark can understand only default Spark format. Default Spark date format. So YYY MM DD. This is the default Spark format. If your date is that format, then it will consider as a timestamp data type whenever you use the inverse schema. But here, this is a different format. That's why it is not treating us. Let's 
use or you can say select only this column and uh, let's select hire date let's select hire date so now i want to convert this into proper timestamp proper timestamp so what we can do we can use a with column we can use with column so we can change the data type we can change the data types using to date function so to date is one of the function which we can give input format so input format is dd mm yy so let's close properly Instead, okay, we need to import this function to date function from sql dot functions import to underscore date. Okay, we need to import call function and uh, we should add uh, add this column because we are using expression and uh, column also should be there. Now, if you look at this, it is treating as 2080, 2081, even you see this 2087. Actual data before 2000, before 2000 mean 1981, 1987. Okay. And if I use a different formats, if I use different form like YYY, so it will raise exception saying that it will raise exception. So you cannot go with a YYY by default because your input is only two Ys, which is only last two, digit, two digits. But if you go with that, what will happen? Default, it will treat as after 20, uh, sorry, after 2000. So in these scenarios, what we can do? In these scenarios, what we can do? We can use time parser policy. We can use time parser policy. So there is an option which we can specify Spark SQL legacy format, Spark SQL legacy format. So first you can verify that, you can verify that. So spark.conf.get, which you can verify parser policy. So we can verify this value. So default, it will be exception. Default, it will be exception. So we can set to legacy, old format. Legacy. So we can set to a legacy. So once you set legacy, whenever you go with the same, whenever you go with, now you see it is treating as 1980. It is using as 1981. So by default, this time passer policy, this time passer policy will be exception. Exception means it will raise exception. And when it comes to older date formats, like older date formats, if I use a two date function, consider 01 January 85. Okay, 1985. So if I give a proper format like a DD, MMM, YY. If I give this format, it will treat as before 2000. So we are mentioning as legacy format. So whenever you are migrating old data, old historical data, and if you are getting only two last two digits in year, just go with time password policy. But even this is also not suggested if you have more columns, more columns. Why? Because if it is actually 12, okay, it is 2012, you see this. It is 12, 2012. And if it is some 70, so 1970. So when it comes to dates, if you have some old historical data, even that is not suggested. So ask 
your source system to send a proper format even if it is a this format but uh, instead of sending two year, two digits in a year four digits consider 2012 or 19 so when it comes to 1912 so it will treat as 1912 okay so if it is 2002 so it should be proper four digit year format so only few scenarios this will help you only when you are migrating historical data before 2000 it won't consider as a latest value so it will treat us like this if i go with the default policy is a, a exception so default this will be exception and whenever you go with the before 2000 so this is after 2000 this is coming correct so but if you go with uh, only two digits only two digits now you see this consider 85 or 95 1995 but it is giving 2095 so what you need to do you need to change this policy or ask your source system to send a proper format means four digit instead of sending two digit so this way which we can handle date formats before 2000 so this is one of the scenario which you can expect on historical data migration so if you like this video please subscribe my channel and see you in another video thank you